Oh, and welcome to Gemini's. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so I'm bringing you guys late readings, but um, I had a lot of catching up to do, you know what I mean? And um, that took a lot of my time, you know? And But I'm here now to give you guys your reading, you know? Um, thank you for you guys' patience. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. It's all love, you know, it's all love. So, Geminis, I see you guys are dealing with Pisces here, or Scorpio. Um, I feel like you guys are thinking about walking away. I received the same reading for Libras, if I'm not mistaken. You know, um, Libras had similar, you guys are thinking about walking away or someone is thinking about walking away from you. I do see that. Um, I also do see where you guys are going to be making a decision between two people. This could be between a water sign and air, a water sign and fire. Um... I see a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer here. I see a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries here. I also see a Taurus. So some of you might have this in your chart. Or you guys might be getting married. Thinking about marriage with this person. I feel like there's something, some truth came out. Something came out. And you're thinking about walking away from this person. But you guys are not walking away. You're taking time off to go think about it. I don't think you guys are walking away, but you guys are making a decision between two people. You need to take that blindfold off so you can make that decision. I feel like you guys will be going out of town or um, you guys will be traveling or um, moving from one relationship to the other. Maybe there was a three situation here and you guys are deciding to move from that third party situation and maybe move into something more solid because I see you guys moving or some of you guys, some of you guys are actually single parents, like a single mom. Because I see somebody with a son or daughter here because you guys do have, I didn't even show you guys your card, sorry. The moon card here, you have the eight of cups here, you have the two of swords here, you have the six of swords here, you have the ten no, nine of ones. And then you have the elephant here. So that tells me that you guys might be actually thinking about moving or moving away from somebody or leaving someone to fall into somebody else's arm. The person you might be leaving is a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Or if not, you have this in your chart. Um, I also do see... Where you guys are being defensive after you're protecting yourself. I don't I don't know if it's more of defensive defense mechanism or you just feel like you need to protect yourself because you've been betrayed, you've been brutalized, you've been attacked by different people, by different things, entities, and you feel like you need to protect what's yours. It's crazy when I did a Libra reading. So some of you guys might be actually messing with a Libra. Because when I did a Libra reading, I felt like some was not being expressive. Some was not really saying how they felt because they, they were blocking their heart from feeling. It's almost like they were blocking themselves from feeling because they've been through so much. And they had to protect what's theirs. And it seems similar. So, some of you guys might be dealing with a Libra. Who knows, right? Or you guys might have Libra or um, Taurus in your chart somewhere. I also did see, yeah, so this is you making decisions, trying to decide between two people. But you feel conflicted and confused about making the decision. There's something hidden. There's a secret here that someone is not saying. So, you might be dealing with someone that has more than one person or this might be you. I feel like this is you, Gemini. You guys trying to decide on who do I want to be with? Do I want to be with 
Scorpio Cancer, Cancer, um, Pisces, or do I want to be with Leo Sagittarius Aries? Whomever treats you the best, honey. I said, may the best win. May the best person win. Okay. Let's see. What you, my body's about to die, so let me hurry up. Let's see here. The continuation of the saga. So there's a new love coming in. Some from you. I don't really think it's a new love. For some of you guys, it might be a new love here. For others of you, I feel like this person is from your past. Because you do have the past life card here. You have the new love here. You have the gifts here. Someone is expecting a baby. And you have communication. Libra got the same. Well, they didn't have the same, but they have communication. Let me get one more card for you guys. Ooh, freedom. Ooh, money. So you guys are thinking about how to increase your finances. I see that here. I also see what you guys will be dealing with a uh, someone from your past that's coming in. It's almost like you know how something ended and like a new beginning comes in forward. That's where the new love comes in. Um, it could be somebody totally new. It could be uh, a newborn, a birth of a child. It could be pregnancy. Um, it could be totally somebody new. Or it could be someone from your past. And the universe is giving you guys a second chance to make this work, to build a better foundation for your relationship. I also see where you guys might be receiving some type of baby shower gifts. I'm telling you, someone might be pregnant. Or you maybe that's the truth that you find out, Gemini, that someone is pregnant. Um, I do see a gift here. I do see a gift here. <coughs> if not, I feel like some of you guys are, are spending when it comes to your spirituality. Um, I see communication here where well, you guys will be getting fast communication from whomever. Um, probably from fire sign or water sign. I see where you guys are feeling the need to be free. Okay, this is December time. You guys will be feeling freedom. Or maybe you guys are giving gifts to somebody. It's December. I, I forgot it was Christmas. This is a December love reading. So, I, I kind of forgot. Okay? But I see where you guys will be exchanging gifts with someone. Um, <laughs> the gift could be, ooh, you're having a boy. Whoops. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, um... I do see where you guys will be getting fast communication coming in and or this person will be reaching out to you. It could be social media, um, emails, text messages. However, you could receive communication. You're going to receive that. Okay, and I see where you guys are needing to be free. Laying your head out feeling free. Or you guys might just be feeling free. You need to hurry up and make this decision so that you won't be hung up. And I do see where you guys are making lots and lots of money. So maybe you guys are thinking about expanding your business career. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of you guys might be actually dealing with a Leo. Someone who lives in a cold area. Um, There could be interference in your love life when it comes to this Leo person. Because this Leo person is an older person. And this person could be interfering in your relationship. If not... Then this could just be your older um, father, or uncle that passed away. If not, then this is just your dad or uncle. Um, I do see what you guys are thinking about expanding. I'm talking about love, but this showed up and I have to recognize it. You guys are thinking about new ways to make money or thinking about ways to expand in your business. Booyah! Geminis, that's what I have for you for, to, for December love reading. Um, again, if you would like to get a clarification on this, you can contact me at cindygo28 at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to push the button below to subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, comment. I do read comment. I don't see people commenting much. I would love if you guys could comment and share your input. And let me know if this resonates with you guys. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed day. Thank you for your support, your patience, and everything else in between. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.